Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patson and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash infidelity where OP's wife is not who he thought she was. Let's begin. My wife cheated before and throughout our marriage. We never consummated and it took me four years to catch her. Posted by Reddit user Dogtowner for life. I just uncovered that my wife of 3.5 years has cheated with at least one person, maybe others since early in our dating period and throughout the entire marriage. We never attempted sex before marriage and during marriage she said she was too small downstairs and would have a panic attack anytime we tried. We engaged in other intimacy, being Christians in church-going community and due to her quiet, shy unassuming demeanor, made it seem reasonable and to make sense that we would need to work on intimacy through a therapist. Due to this shy unassuming demeanor and similar Christian upbringing, it felt unimaginable to see her involved in this drastic of double life. While I can recognize signs that were missed as early as the end of the first year of marriage of her infidelity, neither me nor my close friends around at the time remember anything concerning while dating. Now that the picture has become clear, I've filed for divorce and have every desire to distance myself from this as quickly as possible. I am however feeling the weight of the world on my shoulders. Every fight about transparency and us being open was met with gaslighting of me being controlling for wanting to share phones and be open with each other. In retrospect many fights felt picked so my wife could leave our home and meet up. The past three years I've felt like I was a bad husband and partner due to her personal attacks and interpersonal conflict resolution. I know now it's not true but it hurts so bad. Knowing that she was cheating from day zero and went through with the marriage hurts so bad. Knowing she was sexually active but lied to avoid our intimacy is brutal for self-esteem. Seeing her plan a meetup during our honeymoon and saying she couldn't wait until the dumb family cabin was over is enough to break me. She never stopped cheating nor confessed. I caught her through phone records and contacting the man she met up who claimed he didn't know she was married and also confirmed and detailed their involvement. She was with him as recently as Friday night but now begs me to take her back and forgive her. Her treatment of the gravity of the situation defies logic. I'm struggling to see how I'll be able to trust in future relationships again. I feel so empty inside and I just don't know how to cope with all this. Any suggestions are greatly appreciated. OP, you cannot trust this bitch. She lied about her ability to have sex while having sex with every other man except for you, her husband. Look man, you need to run for the hills. Go to an attorney and get the divorce papers started. Start your life over. And next time, do not tolerate this kind of stupid behavior and check out the goods first. Alright? Good luck, OP. And now for today's second story. My wife left me after she met a co-worker at her new job. Posted by Reddit user Boys. Hi, first time post here after seeing many posts and thought maybe this is where I would share my story. Been with my soon-to-be ex-wife for seven years, married for five. Due to our job specialties we never planned to have kids. But we did have lots of great plans for the future and we never disagreed on any future blueprints or direction we wanted to go during the seven years of our relationship. She started with her new job this February and she met this co-worker from the job. She came back home after two weeks of in-doc training and I found out she started chatting a lot with this guy. I was never a jealous person and I know that she has always been surrounded with guys due to our job situation majority of workers in our industry are males. I never questioned her loyalty or boundaries because I trusted her. But I realized she started texting with this person a lot and I brought it up two times in March. She kept reassuring me that's the guy I don't have to worry about. <laughs> He's just her friend that happens to be they have lots of common topic to chat about. They're both Christians so they talked a lot about Bible. I'm not religious. She said she has no problem to stop talking to this guy again if I don't feel comfortable. But I knew they were going to training again at the end of March. I knew it's impossible so I didn't stop her. I asked her if she's happy in this marriage or even before this event I would constantly check on her to see if there's anything I could improve or just see if she's doing okay in this marriage. I never got any kind of negative feedback. Even up to mid-March she was still saying I'm the best thing that happened in her life. Fast forward to the end of March, she was leaving to somewhere else for her job training for her new job again for a month. In the first couple days she was in training everything was fine and the interactions between us was normal. After the first week we started fighting a lot. Part of me have to admit it was my fault cause I was going through some stuff in my life and I was being pretty emotional. 
but I also started feeling like she started becoming distant and having some strange ideas about future that doesn't even sound like things she would say. And it makes me started feeling weird and we barely argue over anything. I can't even remember when our last really big fight was before April. I felt bad for having to argue with her over things during her training because I know how important it was for her. But mainly we were fighting over she didn't really keep the boundary between her and the guy. And I knew for the fact that he was pursuing her. Finally, she brought up that she needs some space and time to think about our relationship and future. And she told me she still loves me but it's not the same anymore. I was in lots of confusion. But I respected her and gave her some time cause at the moment I didn't really know what's going on. Shortly after a couple days she brought up divorce over FaceTime. My world collapsed and at that moment I still had no idea what was going on. But I had a gut feeling she might be leaving with the person. Finally she comes back home in mid-May. I went to the airport to picking her up. When I saw her, I immediately knew that she's not the person I knew. She wouldn't even give me a hug at the airport after a month and half not seeing each other. She came home and didn't even unpack her luggage. The first night she came home she looked into my eyes and straight told me she wants out. She wants a divorce and she doesn't love me anymore. That first night was hard and I was hurt so much but I was holding on the hope maybe I disappointed her during my emotional waves and our arguments so I was trying to sort things out. The next day suddenly became a different person. She claimed that she wants to clean the house for me and let's create a nice memory for the last couple days before she leaves. I knew it sounded weird and I felt she was lying about lots of stuff and holding back from me. So I went through her phone for the first time in 7 years. I found out before she came back. She was already in relationship and signed the lease with the guy to move in together. At this moment it was only a month and half from she left home in the end of March. And she said to the guy she's willing to give up everything for him to start all over again. I feel really bad until this day to go over her phone because I have never done such a thing in our relationship and I felt that I have crossed the line. But at the moment I decided to take screenshots of their conversations and pretended nothing happened just to see how far she would push for all these lies she had to me. The rest of the days I kept asking her questions related to her and this person and of course I never got any truthful answers. So that night when we were talking finally, I got irritated enough I started questioning her and got mad. She started blaming me on my issues and that's why we can never be together. She was lying until the very last moment, even we were having some heated arguments. She then decided to leave that night and the first thing after she left, I sent her all the screenshots I had and told her I already knew everything. It was just I was really trying to see how far she would push this thing. She said they only started their relationship after she brought up divorce so it's not cheating. She also told me she has been wanting out for the longest time. Just waiting for right moment because I'm very controlling and abusive. Seeing her left and knowing that might be the last time I see this person in my life might be one of the hardest things to see in my life. Until the very last moment I was almost just asking her to be honest with me and give this marriage some respect. She was the greatest wife for 7 years. I don't understand how she could have changed in such a short period of time and that until this day still leaves me with lots of confusion and questions. I know all the past and the love she had for me was real, but how could that just disappear like that? Shortly after she moved out I hired a lawyer and filed for divorce already. She said she doesn't want the bags I bought her. The house, cars or any spouse support or money, she just wants out. I don't really want to make this decision, but at the same time I can't afford for her to change her mind. So I did that right away, and already got the paperwork signed back to me. It has been two months since the day she told me she wants to divorce. I'm doing a lot better now and I'm trying to focus on myself for a new life. And to be a better person, I know I'm not perfect and we didn't have a perfect relationship. But to run away from a marriage, go into a relationship and now living together with this person in a time span of less than two months. I think the things hurt me the most was all the memories we have, all the things we built together and plans we had for future. Maybe I'll never understand why everything could just change in such a short period of time because she met a person and everything went down the drain. My goodness me, OP. Stop being a whiny little bitch and just accept this miracle and keep your mouth shut. Get away from her and keep her away from your assets. Dude, she lied to you and she cheated on you. Her fling will burn out and she will be back. Don't give her anything. Make sure everything is signed before the affair fog fades. After that, go to therapy and hit the gym, you damn donut.
Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat Sun to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.